Good morning everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lisa, if you're new around here. Oh my God, I've had such a busy morning. So I dropped the kids off at school this morning. Then I had to drop Vinny off at like another location because he's got like a day out, but like a school day out, but I had to drop him off. So I did that and then I went to the post office because I had a few things I needed to return because I just actually got my new phone. So I just got a new iPhone. So I had to like send back my old one. So I had to do that. I've had loads of errands to run this morning. So I've managed to get all of that done, which is really good. But I wanted to obviously come and introduce this video because it is a video of like decorating the rest of the house, like getting more bits done for Christmas, also doing some DIY. We've got loads going on in this vlog. I'm really excited to share it with you. What day is it today? It's Monday today. No, it's not. It's Tuesday. <laughs> It's Tuesday today. Like I said, my weeks have been crazy. I feel like this time of the year is just so crazy, isn't it? It's such a nice weekend. So we also watched a movie over the weekend. So as you know, I'm part of the Sky Cinema Club. I'm an ambassador, which I've absolutely loved doing this year. It's been so amazing. And as you know, I get to review movies every month for you. The movie that I chose to review this month is She Came To Me. There was also Magic Mike's Last Dance, which was another great option, uh, but I didn't go for that one because it was going to be like a movie night for me and Mark so there's that one. There's also Big George Foreman on there as well at the moment so some really great movies to watch but we watched She Came To Me so it's basically about a composer who has like writer's block and he's got this he's doing his like big comeback and he needs to write an opera but he's got writer's block basically he married his therapist and she like tells him to go out for walks because he's got this writer's block and he just wants to mope around so she's trying to go out on this walk and then he ends up meeting someone and she ends up becoming his muse it's such a good story there's like a second storyline as well about their son who is i think he's 18 is and his son's girlfriend's 16 and there's just a little bit of um drama going on there as well but it was such a great movie there's also sorry i'm doing my lip liner whilst i'm talking to you this was like a comedy drama with a bit of romance thrown in there too so it was a really nice watch like a really great one to watch on a saturday night so peter dinklage is the composer also known as stephen and he's married to anne hathaway so she's like she was his therapist she ends up marrying him he ends up meeting like someone else and yeah it was just there was drama there was a lot of drama there was a lot going on and i can relate to him actually because he's got this writer's block you know writing this opera and i remember when i used to write like blog posts so that's how i started in this kind of whole industry i suppose i used to do a blog so i used to write about beauty stuff and all of that kind of stuff and i remember at christmas time a little bit like vlogmas on here i would do like a vlogmas over on my blog so i would write posts 30 days and I remember getting writer's block then and I was like oh my god we would call it bloggers block because you just couldn't think of things to write about and when you're doing it for like that amount of time like 30 days in a row I used to find it so tricky so I can definitely relate to his bloggers block or writer's block in his case so it was really good I could definitely relate to him you know what it's like sometimes when you've got to do stuff and you just get that mental block don't you so that was really good i really enjoyed that there are so many great movies on sky cinema at the moment and also i wanted to talk to you about the collection of movies that are on sky at the moment and of course it is the christmas collection my favorite time of year if you haven't watched a boy called christmas yet that is a really good one because i know that everyone loves it the classics but a boy called christmas is quite a new one so if you haven't seen that one yet we watched that one last year it was brilliant the boys actually had it on this morning as well before school such a good movie just gets you into the christmas spirit doesn't it so many great movies on sky cinema at the moment if you want something new to watch she came to me is definitely my recommendation this month and of course all of the christmas movies because who doesn't love christmas and today's video is christmas themed because we are decorating the rest of the house or most of it so i've got lots of festive um, content for you today which is very exciting you know me i love christmas but i'm not feeling that festive at the moment so i feel like this video and editing this video is going to make me feel like really festive and then we're going to watch a christmas movie later on i have to why not let me know what your favorite christmas movie is I just have so many favourites. Of course, Elf is right up there. Love Actually, also a classic. And The Holiday. You know, I, I actually have only started watching The Holiday like two or three years ago now. I think this, this is our third year of watching The Holiday. And where have I been? Why was I living under a rock with The Holiday? Because, oh my God, love it such a good movie so yeah if you haven't got sky cinema yet i highly recommend it also with sky cinema you get two free view cinema tickets every month 
so you can claim that you can have a little date night great idea um but yeah you can get that every month so that's like a new thing that sky are currently doing but anyway i'm gonna stop rambling sort myself out now i'm gonna actually continue doing some editing and edit this vlog because i've actually already filmed it so uh you get to watch now all of the decorating process we've got some bits in the living room also did a little diy so i'm going to show you all that now and then I'll, I'll show you the living room at the end of the video because it looks spectacular. Love it so much. So thank you so much for watching. Let's get into the rest of the video. Right, so I thought it was time to put our Christmas tree up in our bedroom. I haven't had time to do it yet, so I thought we'd do it and make the bed all nice and festive as well. I actually put this up the other day, but I need to have a little rejig with it. But I didn't plan on putting that on top of the bed, to be honest, because I was doing some work. But actually i quite like it up there so i might leave that up there got some new festive bedding how lovely does this look it looks so soft but we've got the tree to put up my mum gave me this tree last year and it looked so lovely in that corner because it's one of those like tall skinny trees i think it was from next actually so i'm going to put that up this morning and make this room feel a little bit more festive and nice you just know you're wearing the wrong color for this <laughs> it's a snowy tree so i'm going to change my top quick because otherwise i'm going to get so snowy i think this is more appropriate <laughs> i'm pretty sure that last year i used this basket this basket is like a little waste bin that i got from dunelm a little while ago but i use it to put my little tree in so i'm going to use it again this year and put the christmas tree in it as well Do that then last year. Hmm. Did it go in the stand? Well, I'm all for Christmas. All the happy smiles and the wishes. And I want it all from the lights to the mistletoe. you're missing i will keep you warm as soon as you okay so i've put the tree up and i've added the lights i just need to get an extension lead so i can push that back a little bit further but that looks pretty doesn't it i can't remember if i put um i can't remember if i put a star on that last year still needs a little bit more fluffing actually up here and down here but I've put it in the basket and I think that looks lovely like that. Next thing I need to do is change the bed. So I'm going to do that. It's going to be nice and quick for you. So three, two, one. Okay, so that is our bed all made. And I think it looks so cosy. I cannot wait to jump into that tonight. It looks so soft. It's like a velvet touch and then it's got teddy fleece on the inside. Oh my God, can't wait to jump in there. So that is our room all Christmas vibe now looking nice and festive i feel like maybe i need a little star for the top of the tree but anyway that is our bedroom all done looking nice and festive now and some more decorating today but i wanted to show you do you remember in this room the bar area that we have it's basically just like a little hatch there's like a little door at the bottom and then there's like this like area where you can put bits we call it the bar i think it used to be a bar but we use it for like arts and crafts and stuff in the cupboard but the top section we kind of painted it when we moved in so when we moved in i'll put some pictures up it was that that bright orange varnished wood so we painted it as soon as we moved in just to kind of get rid of the color of it and now we've painted it so it's the same color as the rest of the room which i love it looks so good and then because the top of it so it's like a worktop area you would say that was wood so we painted that and i just thought you know what they easily chip it's like a dumping ground there we're always putting things on top of it and it's getting chipped well it did get chipped before when we painted it the first time so i said to mark why don't we use one of the tiles that we had for our bathroom so we had a leftover tile from the bathroom you know that one with like the dark veins in it we only used it in the niche area in the shower and we bought another one of those and i said to mark why don't we use that as like a worktop mark has cut one to size 
and let's put it put it in there we've painted it all and it looks so so good so i'm going to show you that now a long explanation but i just wanted to kind of give you a background as to what's happened here so it looks so good now let me just show you so this is the area i mean so we've as you can see we've painted this i do actually want to add some molding maybe to this area but we've just painted it for now and then this is what the worktop looks like so we haven't finished it yet we need to add um we need to kind of seal all the corners in and stuff but how good does that top look and it works so well with the color so now i can just put some nice like flowers here or whatever and just make it look nice rather than it being a dumping ground but you can see here we've got this mirror so the mirror's always been here and that is not a dirty mirror that is just aged mirror but it's not like a nice looking aged mirror if that makes sense you know you can buy the antique mirrors which look really gorgeous so instead of replacing it i've bought this reeded glass film that i just want to put over the mirror just to kind of hide the fact that the mirror is so like you know it doesn't look great does it so instead of replacing the whole thing which would be quite expensive to do i'm gonna put this on there today and we'll see how it looks so this is the tile just love it looks so nice this is what the film looks like basically i'm going to cut that size it has got like another bit on it we need to peel off so right. you so just basically wet, wet the mirror and then you just put this on and like i'll get the spray i've got it? i've got it here but ah. i just need to measure it all so let's give it a little measury okay so now i'm just peeling off the backing I'm ready to stick. This looks good. This looks decent, to be fair. Right, so we need it to be 99, was it? Oh my god, this better be the right length. <gasps> I've got none left. Oh my god, this actually doesn't look like it's going to be long enough. It is by one centimetre. Oh my god. That is unbelievable. It's yeah, it's 200 I got, 200 length. <laughs> wow. You There's no thing. no room for error here though. No, no you're wrong. <laughs> well, that I'm just doing it like that. No, no, no. 99. That's 39. This is 99. Yeah. I can see. That's blob daubed it. Christ to my lord. I'd rather get a little bit let like, I don't want to have too You want to be a bit little, big, yeah? yeah? You'd rather have a big angle yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, like that, yeah. Under pressure. Really? I thrive off pressure. Oh, I don't. Pressure's my middle name. No, it's not mine. What's yours? I don't know. Panic. Don't panic. Precision. God, that's your middle name. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why do we see what this tape is? Elizabeth on? Precision Prudhoe. Yeah. Sounds right to me. Sounds good. I like it. Measure once, cut twice. Remember that motto? That's my motto. Who says that? In Matilda. Who? Matilda! Oh yeah. Use the stick, beat the child. That's my motto. This is this is perfect. This is excellent. You know that. Okay, so that is the film all added. I think it looks so good. It was very tricky to get those lines joined up. You can slightly see it where it joins, but it's harder to see in person if that makes sense. But it does highlight it a little bit more on the camera but it looks really good so once i've got my little flowers there and stuff i'll show you it after mark just needs to finish some bits down here but love that we're continuing with the christmas decorating you would have seen we've already got our tree up but now we need to put the garland on the fireplace we've actually put this mirror back up here for christmas because i feel like with the lights um reflecting off of it it's going to look really pretty but we need to do the garland today i've actually bought these command uh, damage free cord bundlers but i'm thinking i can loop the garland on that and it will be a lot easier to stick up rather than kind of balancing everything up the top on the mantle so i've got two packs of those for the garland i did buy these which i might all incorporate as well some gold beads but everything should be in here that we used last year. So I'm going to get it all out and we'll see what we can do. Let's get a nice festive scene on here, shall we? And get rid of the cricket. Milan's relaxing at the minute, aren't you? He? So cute. Milan is the one that loves to sleep inside the trees. He actually sleeps underneath Vinny's tree all the time. Now. Whatever we do, we will be all right. These holiday wonders will open your mind. May all your wishes tonight come true. The 
I've just added some of the gold beads and now I need to add the little gold leaf lights that we used last year and I feel like it will be done then. This photo is so cute. I love it up here. Got it. Oh my god. Oh, I found it. It's been in the garage since I gave moved in. Yes, yeah, so lucky I didn't chuck it out. I know. I swear you wanted to chuck it out. <laughs> Probably. We need to give it a good clean. So that was the glass shelf that was actually inside the bar area, which goes up here. Specific. Yeah, so I'm so like glad little... we kept that. Yeah, me too. That is really cool. Yeah, that looks good. Because what I like about that is that's original to the house. That looks cool. We're loving this. We are. What a little transformation. Unbelievable. Wowzers. Right, on to, on to another job. <laughs> <laughs> we found this in a antiques market, £22. I think we got it for £20 in the end, but it's an antiques sleigh, sled. The handmade sled. one. Sled. Sled. Um, oh no, I didn't actually. It looks much better without the rope. So basically, I just didn't really like this orangey pine colour. So Mark's just going to sand it back to its raw state, hopefully. I do feel like we're in change rooms. <laughs> Whenever we film these videos, we're like, duh, 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 yeah, duh, you're duh, duh. like the interior designer, and I'm, I'm the DIY guy, aren't I? I know, but I still get in there. No, I get, yes. I've just been doing the garland for yeah, about three yeah, hours. Yeah, it's taking me you forever. Look good. Yeah, I'm thinking we're going to put it here. So um, what I want to do is I'm going to clear this area. I'm also going to get the tree out, the one that I got from Dunelm last year. We've got them in Orlando's bedroom and also Renzo's bedroom. And I'm going to get that out and put the lights on it so it's ready because I was thinking of putting it on top of it and then styling that out. Hopefully it looks nice. If not, we could put it next to the Christmas tree. We'll have a little look and see. Oh, the lights are already in here. Brilliant. So happy about that. I just wonder where they were. It's a magical time full of kisses Take a walk outside and tickle the snowman's nose Moving nimbly Did you hear something from the chimney? I will keep you warm as soon as you remove that snow Christmas, I own. 